Hey guys, welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we're going to be discussing the upcoming Prime Warframe, the stupendous, the glorious, the remarkable Wisp Prime. Now, Wisp now in the meta is doing pretty well, I must say. She's one of the most powerful, if not, do we? Do we even call her the most powerful buffer frame in the game? Essentially, if you show up to a party using a Wisp, everybody is happy to see you, for obvious reasons. And of course, I mean her glorious, absolutely glorious buffs. When you're playing a Wisp, it is kind of a given that you will buff your entire party. Granted, that's not the only way to play Wisp per se, but let's go a bit more into detail about the next Prime Warframe. Now sometimes, just sometimes, Digital Extremes kind of switch things around in the sense that they may not bring out Wisp Prime if something else fits their agenda a bit better. They did it before, so there is a chance we get Hildren Prime. Now I gotta be honest with you, if it's Hildy or if it's Wisp, it's a win-win situation. Hildren is an absolutely amazing Warframe, you gotta try her out, she's so unique and fantastic at what she does. The only problem with Hilde, if you ask me, the farm for her is a bit tedious, it's a bit, well not the easiest thing that you can do in Warframe, so a Prime variant should theoretically fix that. Now you're still gonna have to farm normal Hildren because you gotta feed her to the uh, helmet system because you gotta get yourself pillage. Pillage is absolutely fantastic, if you're running pillage for example on something like a Baruch, oh my god. You can go level cap no problem, link the cards right now for a full and detailed guide on Baruch and with pillage and everything and all what not. But, today we're not talking about Hildy, today we're talking about this beautiful Warframe right here, we're talking about Wisp. Now, when I first started out with Wisp, my focus was I need to get her to deal damage, because that's the stigma when it comes to most Warframes, yes, can it deal damage, can it do something stupendous, glorious that the previous Warframe or the previous, previous, previous Warframe could not do, and you know what, the whole putting buffs on the ground, the whole ficus on the ground thing and get your own buffs is absolutely fantastic, I love that idea when it comes to Wisp. So after I... I saw that I couldn't really deal damage with her ability per se, with her 4 ability, which I absolutely love, the whole beam and everything. It's really cool, but it doesn't really deal that much damage. You're gonna do fine in Star Chart, but you're not gonna be going Steel Path Endurance Runs, let's just put it like that. After I gave up on dealing damage with Wisp, without weapons, weapons don't count because you essentially can take any Warframe and deal damage with a weapon. I focused on getting out the most powerful buffs that I can, and the most powerful buffs are gonna come down to power strength. How much power strength can you get on your Warframe? And of course you can stack a whole lot. Keep in mind that if you're going for that route and any route for Wisp, I would argue Fused Reservoir is one of the mods to have when it comes to Wisp. Check this one out my friends. It's a Reservoir Augment obviously. Adds a fourth Reservoir that gives the effects of all three cost 200% more energy. So essentially you plop down a single ability, all the buffs are down which is absolutely fantastic. Because you know what? Plopping Reservoir one after another, one then switch, one then switch, one then switch, it was a bit on the tedious side, so thumbs up for this one, it's an absolutely fantastic augment that you need to have. It simply streamlines your gameplay experience, it affects the gameplay, it makes Wisp less tedious. And honestly that was the only thing that legitimately made her tedious. Now, her weakest ability, and I'm fully aware some of you might not agree, I'm gonna have to go with her 4 ability Soul Gate, and don't get me wrong, Soul Gate? Pfft, looks absolutely bloody amazing. You essentially run down the mission with a beam of energy channeled in front of you like that. It's a Kamehameha. It's a, no, it's not really a Kamehameha. Is it a final flash? No, it's not a final. Well, anyway, with a beam of energy channeling down from your palm tips like that, and it makes you feel very Dragon Ball-ish, and I love this one. It's absolutely freaking fantastic. But no matter how much power strength you build, you're only gonna be able to do low level content, and by low level content, I mean something like 70s, 80s, or something of the sort. But if you fantastic individual has a fantastic idea for a fantastic damage build, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, not revolving around weapons, because if you wanna deal damage with Wisp, all you gotta do is Breach Surge and hit with an AoE weapon or something of the sort. Breach Surge, arguably, is her best ability, from my humble point of view. Now my friends, again, if you're looking for buffing your teammates, get yourself a little bit of duration up in there, get yourself a little bit of strength, and by a little bit I mean all the strength that you can, but make sure you have a decent amount of duration as well, simply because you don't want the buffs to run out like that. However, if you're on a defense and a fixed point, that's not really gonna matter all that much because everybody can get to stay within your buff, so there is that to bear in mind. Now, more importantly, when it comes to Wisp, my friends, the fashion, because she's absolutely freaking gorgeous. Now, this was what I envisioned back then when I first tried out Wisp, 
how a prime variant would look like and i can hardly believe that the prime variant is just around the corner but perhaps you're the kind of gentleman that prefers something a bit more dark <laughs> Introducing Vampire Queen Wisp, and I absolutely love this one, the whole shy thing and all whatnot. Black, red, white, classic LGV colors. But you know what? You might have spotted something. Did you notice the skin that I'm using? Wisp has tremendous skins because everybody loves this Warframe and she got a whole lot of attention for obvious reasons. Yes, yes. So you get yourself the Delusion skin. Now back when I bought this one, this was quote unquote the best skin. But you also got a deck skin that you can obtain during the Warframe anniversary. And don't worry about the anniversary. It should be right around the corner. You're going to be able to get yourself the deck skin and many other goodies as well. <laughs> a bit of a baboon butt going on there, but that's not important. If you take a look at some of the amazing Tenogen that this Warframe has, it's absolutely freaking insane. Check this one out. This very darky Naga mixed with spider kind of helmet looking thing. The whole skin, obviously. But if you're looking for a dark wisp, but I gotta rearrange the color, something like this, definitely you gotta try it. Oh, and one of my favorites, the Zamairo. Beautiful, absolutely freaking fantastic. The point is, if you're the type of person that enjoys fashion frames, rest assured you got plenty of options. Look at this. Look at this. When it comes to fashion frame, you can make this make this Warframe look absolutely bloody sensational. And you don't need to pork real money. Again, you can get the deck skin when the anniversary rolls around. Now let's talk about this weapon right here. The Fullman, my friends, is Wisp's signature weapon. It came out with her and it's an absolutely beautiful primary weapon and it's extremely powerful as well. Granted, it might not make my top 10 anymore, but the Fullman is still an incredible weapon. You got two fire modes. Primary fire mode, you essentially got this Arca Plasmor kind of like projectile, only smaller and in a circle. Beautiful, fantastic damage. And if you press your secondary fire mode, she takes off the silencer, put it underneath her hand, sort of like a stabilizer of some sort and the weapon goes full automatic rifle assault rifle whatever you want to call it hits can attack it also packs one serious punch and if you want to see a full and detailed build guide on the fullman so you're prepared for the prime fullman look at the cards right now now when the prime comes out obviously i'm going to be updating the guide but the build technically sh should be the same normally prime variants are the same as their normal counterparts only they look better Visually, yes, subjectively better, fine, and they have a bump in stats. Once upon a time, Prime Weapons also had quirky, cool special gimmicks, but unfortunately, that time is gone. Now, before I go, I need to turn the clock back to 2021. Yes, my friends, it was November. November 16, 2021. Do you know what happened on November 16, 2021? Of course you don't know, but I do, because I researched before making the bit. Mesa Prime came out what the hell did i click mesa prime came out and mesa prime was showcased to us in a very specific way now unfortunately when she came out she did not have everything she needed to have we did not receive everything we were promised therefore this guy is scandal and people were making vids and it was half a joke and half not a joke but thankfully digital extremes um plumped everything back up so dear d <laughs> we're watching you Nobody needs Askgate 2023 now, do we? And with that, my friends, I'm gonna be calling it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. And let me know in the comment section down below. Are you excited for Wisp Prime or would you have preferred Hildren? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ciao.